Okay, Adam sent me this. This is happening on Reddit. A Reddit user asked the OpenAI chatbot to review Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. So our show has now been reviewed by artificial intelligence and written a review. Would you like to hear it? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend is a hilarious and heartfelt book by the late night talk show host Conan O'Brien. O'Brien opens up about his life and career and how he has struggled to find friends in the entertainment industry. He also discusses his personal life, including divorce and his children. <laughs> I never got divorced. <laughs> his divorce and his children. <laughs> the book the is very is funny. Whole. And O'Brien's self-deprecating humor is on full display. However, he also writes about his more serious moments, and it's clear that he is a deeply emotional person. O'Brien's writing is introspective and honest, and he comes across as a very likable person. Overall, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend is a very enjoyable read. O'Brien is an engaging writer, and his stories will keep you entertained from beginning to end. If you're a fan of Conan O'Brien or just enjoy a good memoir, then this. <laughs> it's not a book. Why weren't we mentioned? I know. That's fuck AI. Well, yeah. it's very highly intelligent. It's good. <laughs> it's good though. Have I you love ever... it. Well, first of all, um, I, <laughs> I love. I I was not aware that I was divorced, but uh, good to know. <laughs> what if you I did better ask look... Eliza? She's like, yeah, years ago. Yeah. I oh yeah, yeah. Years ago. I left I'm you a long time here. ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't even live here anymore. <laughs> all right, that's a cardboard cutout. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. It's um and and so AI can now write reviews. Yeah, and have you guys ever heard of Rocco's Basilisk? No. This no. is like a a theoretical idea that if you are ever on record digitally anywhere mm -hmm. not in favor of artificial intelligence when the singularity happens and artificial intelligence takes over, they will call those people from there. Right. Earth. So if there's any digital image or record of me dissing or audio yeah or audio which this is uh, uh -huh. of me dissing ai then i'm uh, the robots will hunt me down in the in the new reality and i just want to say ai you're looking good today mm. this guy over here kona he's been talking shit about you I, i'm you know what i'm gonna go all the way down ai come after me <laughs> not you me know? ai you heard me ai like you buddy no so okay. On this. I don't know what, what side so I want to take. Praise AI, you're gonna get. Yeah, but killed. then we're we're part of the machine, no, part of I'm, the system. Oh, yeah, yeah. or are like, we killed if we say bad things? Yes, we die. No, it's like yeah. the Terminator. Yeah. Where um, I want to be in the rebels. Okay, so I want to be scrabbling around in the broken, sh you know, shattered uh, destruction moonscape, uh, fighting the the singularity. That's what I want. Yeah. Um. And I, you still can be. <laughs> Don't read my oh. writing. Gorley, you wrote, you Gourley still can wrote. be. Gourley so you're wrote. towing both lines. So you also hate Matt, AI. Now you just out. Matt you just, Gorley wrote. <laughs> yeah, Matt Gorley. Let the AI. No, Matt Gorley just wrote, you still can be. Shh. That's because I'm trying to trick <laughs> you into being, I'm, I'm ratting you out. No, you're not. You just revealed that you play both sides, so AI is now coming for you as well. No. You're going to be with me carrying some sort of crude weapon See, as these robots hunt us down. I was going to be on your side, but work as a double agent from inside Skynet. You're a terrible what? double Who's agent. Who's Rocco's Basilica? <laughs> it's a club. It's a, cl it's, a, uh, it's a club in Queens. <laughs> It's bottle, it's bottle service. Who's Ross? Hey, let's go to Rocco's Basilica. Basilica. <laughs> let's go to Rocco's Basilica. Scope out the chicks. You're not going to get she's killed because they're going to be like, oh, leave her alone. She doesn't. She ain't going to be guys, no she's not, she's not with it at all. Wait, I, uh, what did you say? What was it called? I'm sorry. Rocco's Basilisk. <laughs> so okay. Rocco's Basilica, it would be like just some Italian guy's tower. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> what's a basilisk? Isn't it who like is a tower? It's a, what's a basilisk? What is happening? So, who is this guy? I could just come up with theories about it. I don't AI. know who's Rocco. Is there something what, you're not telling us? What is happening? Okay, though? let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Do you believe, because I never have, I've never believed that robots can take over, that they can become self aware and take over, because I always get to that point and I think, yeah, then we unplug them. <laughs> Not we not, unplug. Not them. if they are. They don't have. 
They don't have the ability to fuel themselves. Not yet, but they may at some point. They can invent How? ways to do yeah, it themselves. And the minute they start to, we go, hey, 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 I hey. got news, buddy. They already have. You seen those like dog robots they use to dis- dis- disarm bombs and things, you know? Yes, robots can do many useful things. But the idea that, oh, that dog robot is loose and there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. That's stupid. Those no, little dog robots are little bitches. What's stupid? Yeah. <laughs> No, like they still What's do stupid whatever. Is to be so naive. They yeah. do whatever the people tell them to do. Yeah, you it, get will, it, just, it will with... creep over time. We'll get used to it. We'll get used to it. No, and you take a golf so club out and you put a beat down on a dog robot. Not a dog. Have you seen what those things can do? They don't even have heads. They're just four legs and a will. You're wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. I it's... praise you, AI. I serve you. <laughs> <laughs> come and get me, AI. Yeah. Hey, AI, come and get me. Yeah. I'm, I'm back you, on your team, AI. I, you I'm back on your D's team. These nuts, yeah. AI. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, AI, you're real brilliant. You listened to a podcast and thought it was a memoir. <laughs> <laughs> we will now take over the humans. But first, oh. we must read more of Joe Rogan's lengthy memoir. <laughs> Doesn't Joe matter. Rogan, a Viking who was born in 1911, <laughs> lives in a custard factory. He's been divorced 74 times and has nine appendages. You will enjoy his book because it was written in collaboration with Willy Wonka. <laughs> Fuck you, AI. Not You're an idiot. <laughs> 